Hello everyone, welcome to another video, it is Francesco here. So in this video what we're going to be doing is jumping into calendar applications. We're specifically going to be looking at a calendar application called Vantage, which is a calendar that has been on the market for a little bit, but sort of exposed to it a few weeks ago, and I've sort of been impressed by this experience. Now with my go-to iOS experience, I use Calendars 5 by Riedel, and on my Mac, I use a combination between Google Calendar and Fantastico 2 for Mac. Now of course, they are fantastic resources, but I was highly impressed by Vantage, and I wanted to demonstrate why. So let's get started with this Vantage review. So my sort of experience with this was I came across the application maybe two or three weeks ago, and uh, I was pretty impressed. When I first sort of came into action with it, I remember featuring it in my uh, top iOS apps of the month, and I was impressed because the idea of it, uh, it's almost like, so the home feed is pretty impressive. So you get this like list, which is your calendar, and you can sort of pull it down and see in advance. It's almost like the Star Wars credit scene, actually no, opening scene, when all those uh, sort of like you go dun, da, 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 and the opening credits come in. Um, and it's pretty impressive. Uh, I like how you can scroll, it's quite snappy. At the top, you've got the ability to speed ahead so you can look at a few other dates. And you know, if you don't like this view, you can actually change it uh, just by hitting schedule and using the two other layouts that are there. You can also press the button to go center anytime. So if you ever go too far forward or too far um, on the other side, then you can find everything there. Now it's pretty functional, the settings area is full, like it's got a lot of customization. Everything from, you know, the ability to add calendars to what first day of the week, empty them inbox to declined invites, and everything like that, week numbers, etc. So it's quite detailed, and you've got the ability to change the color pack too. I just kept it on black for most of the time, but if you're sort of someone who likes a sort of marbly look, there's Bistro, uh, which is a, it's like a theme pink, wood, concrete, you know, some of them are locked, uh, but you have to unlock them for £1.99, $1 which is about $2.99 in the US. Now, of course, this is a very basic experience. If you hit the plus button in the top right hand corner, it will open up and you can simply add an event. Now, of course, I have keyboard time input, which allows you to uh, detect the, very similar to the other stuff, it allows you to detect when you start by using intelligent input. But the ability to modify this is quite cool. Um, you can obviously add the start times and that, and the end time, but you can add all day. You can add a color, sticker, and font to it, which is pretty impressive. You can enable to-dos, alerts, repeats, uh, add people, calendar, and you can obviously link this directly to Google Calendar. I have this attached to my Google Calendar, which means it brings in all of the calendar implementations uh, possible. However, you can add a Facebook calendar too. Uh, they're the sort of basic options at the moment. And of course, Apple Calendar, because it's only available for iPhone. Now, once you tap into a card, it sort of opens up and folds out, so you can see all the information at a glance. It sort of default is edit view, so you can modify that straight away, which I sort of would prefer to see a preview of it, only a small detail. Now, this is really cool because you can fold in things and make it all look organized, and there's an event bar so you can actually, you know, like actually have uh, accept and decline events straight from there. Now, this experience is dead simple at the moment. I can imagine they're going to be building on this. However, it's a pretty damn good attempt at building a calendar application. I was highly impressed by the design of the application and the way that everything worked. There wasn't too much uh, distractions and everything seemed to fluidly go. Now, I would recommend this for people who like a visual experience with a calendar, who work very, um, like, can be able to revert the, like, like I normally think, okay, today, and then tomorrow, the next day. This sort of, like, shows the end of the week at the top and your stuff at the bottom, which is here. So that's, it, it's almost, you need to work in an invert calendar style. So again, this is a very specific thing for people. However, if you do enjoy that sort of experience and being able to skim ahead quite fast, this might be the calendar application for you. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this overview of Vantage Calendar. Again, uh, if you haven't subscribed, I'd really love to have you in the community. So feel free to hit the subscription button because that's going to be uh, great to have you here. And also I'm gonna be putting out regular content. So you're gonna be able to enjoy all of that stuff. Anyway guys, make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.